Today, the United States Supreme Court has issued a Second Amendment case for conference for this Thursday, and they also denied certiorari for two more. We'll talk about that here on this episode of Guns and Gadgets. Today's video is brought to you by TACPAC. TACPAC is a monthly subscription box that delivers tactical and EDC gear to your door each month. Each month, TACPAC's team curates a list of products that you will find useful in your daily life, whether it's on the range, at home, or at work. For $49.95, you can expect at least $80 worth of gear each month. And most boxes have at least $100 worth of gear. Some have even been worth $200 like a rail from Aeronox. In your tack pack, you can expect to find anything from knives to gun parts to gun cleaning tools to badass apparel, sometimes even an AR rail or a steel target. Just a few of the brands you'll find in tack pack include CRKT, SOG knives, mechanics gloves, Aeronox, and many more. Tack pack has a hassle-free cancellation, and when you use the link below in the description and in the pinned comment, and use code G&G, &G, you'll receive a free mystery grab bag that's worth $40 just for signing up. Just a note that that free mystery grab bag will ship separately. Again, hit the link down below, use code G&G, &G, and thank you to TechPack for sponsoring today's video. All right, everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. We're going to go over a couple cases, two of which the U.S. Supreme Court denied, that are 2A cases. Of course, they get a whole bunch more thrown in front of them. And also one case that has a chance. Uh, it has been issued for conference, but we'll go over that. We'll talk about first the two cases that they denied to hear. Uh, some of you may be aware of these cases. The first one had to do with suppressors and the NFA, the National Firearms uh, Act tax, and that was uh, Bolatete v. the U.S. In that case, was denied certiori, so they are not going to even consider it. And case number two uh, was Gruel v. Defense Distributed. And that case surrounded around the Attorney General for New Jersey and his attempt to block a company in Texas from operating a company in Texas. Now, Defense Distributed obviously is has to do with code for certain items that we all like, and certain attorneys general across the country want that company out of business. Now, uh, Defense Distributed did launch a countersuit in federal court in Texas, as well as in New Jersey against the New, Tur New, the New Jersey attorney general. And uh, the New Jersey case has been put on hold while they work through the case in Texas. So the Supreme Court's not going to touch it. So let's get into the case that has a chance. I guess this is the test, like this is the litmus test of the new makeup of the court. If you believe the hype and the drama and, you know, the, if you're a sports fan, you know, this team should be great on paper. If you believe that how the Supreme Court makeup is on paper, then we, we're being led to believe over the last four to five years that it, it is now a strong constitutional centric makeup and a majority of those are supposed to be pro to a uh, judges. So we will see here shortly, hopefully, this case, like I said, was distributed for conference, and the conference is this Thursday. And don't forget, we've had cases in front of them that have gone months before they have decided to either take it up or deny the certiorari. But at least they're at least they're going to hear this one out for uh, for conference. They're going to look at the case and decide if they're going to take it up. Now, the justices, when it goes to conference, mostly the aides do all this work. Uh, but uh, I will keep you up to date on that. So if you want to stay up to date with what's going on, now's the chance. Hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're watching this on anything other than YouTube, follow me there, no matter whether it's a follow, a like, uh, whatever it is on whatever platform you're watching. But uh, I greatly value your input here as well. So leave a uh, comment down below on what you think of this. And let's get into a quick uh, synopsis of the case. And I'll tell you why I think that it's about 50-50. I think that they might listen to it and they might not. And of that 50-50, will they listen to this case or another case that's kind of similar but different? So let's get into it. This case is the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus the superintendent of the New York State Police. When they first filed this case... It was uh, Corlett was the last name of the superintendent. There's a new superintendent. It's now Bruin, B-R-U-E-N, 
Welcome to the job. You inherit this lawsuit because uh, this case is challenging New York State's uh, concealed carry laws. We also, if you remember, a year and a half ago, the Supreme Court uh, turned their nose at a case similar, but it was solely centered around New York City. This case is challenging the entire state's licensing scheme. Now, part of the challenge to this is that under Heller, the U.S. Supreme Court said the right to keep bear arms is an individual right, and under McDonald uh, versus Chicago, that was applied to the states. However, in New York, you must show a proper cause in order to be able to carry a firearm, at least get the license for it. And being as the Second Amendment applies to all, New York treats the Second Amendment or the concealed carry person who's looking for one as a second class citizen who has to distance themselves from everybody else. So the case is saying, look, if, if the Second Amendment applies to everybody, then how can this state get away with making people prove that they have proper cause? Because it doesn't say that in the Second Amendment or anywhere else in the Constitution. The case also draws attention to the different circuit, uh, appeal, circuit Court of Appeals uh, and how their decisions vary greatly. Some circuits are saying that the Second Amendment also obviously applies to the people, and some circuits, like New York and Second Circuit, uh, let states get away with this stuff. And it, it was even more exasperated with the Ninth uh, Circuit Court of Appeals ruling last week that the right to keep and bear arms does not apply to open carry in public. I mean, how else can you bear an arm if you can't carry the arm? And that law that was specifically challenged was in Hawaii where they don't give out concealed carry permits and they don't give out open carry permits and in the history of record keeping in Hawaii they've never issued a permit whether it open or concealed. So that sounds to me like a right denied. So you can see there are different opinions by different circuit courts and that is when the US Supreme Court is supposed to settle the differences. Now, like I said, will they hear this case or will they wait for that Ninth Circuit case, Young v. Hawaii, to be before them? I guess we'll find out after they uh, look at this stuff in conference on Thursday. They usually make their decisions on Monday, so next week we'll know something. Will they kick it down the line for week after week after week like they've done in the past? Also a distinct possibility, but we're going to see real soon if this new court is pro-Constitution, pro-Second Amendment, or not. And hopefully, this is the case where they decide to prove it to us one way or another. The question is, can the government prevent the ordinary U.S. citizen from carrying a firearm, and in these cases specifically a handgun, outside of one's home for self-defense? So I want to put that on your radar. We need to be, I mean, we got a lot coming down the pike for gun control. We got a couple small victories, bump stock case being one of them in the Sixth Circuit. But we, I mean, it just doesn't stop, guys and gals. So I'm doing my best to keep you in, in the know. And uh, I greatly appreciate your time. Please consider subscribing to Guns and Gadgets if you want to stay in the know. And with you, our voice is stronger. Know that. Like I said, just wanted to put this on your radar. I will stay on top of this. Hopefully, hopefully this is a case that they'll they'll put like they'll just put down the the, the horse. So like they'll, instead of beating the dead horse, we'll just bury it all together. Hopefully, but yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, till we see each other again. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. I will see you on the next one. Have a fantastic afternoon, everybody. Take care.